Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? <sighs> How many times am I going to have to continue to say this after every episode? <laughs> Another show has ended. And... I guess this was just the season of, hey, we're coming out with another season uh, type of deal because actually every single show we watch could be said to not have a definitive ending and most of them were just the beginning then truly giving us an end. So it's going to hurt. Um, I think that's pretty interesting to take in at the end of the day. Not only, excuse me, um, not only do we see a lot of what's going to continue forward being, uh, whatever, whatever the princess and whatever Lord, Yi, the Lord Yuki, uh, kind of figures out what, what's going on with their background, um, this story can go on for so long. I feel like maybe four to five episodes were big plot turning episodes throughout this whole entire season, which I could be wrong, but I feel like if there was any other plot turning moments that, you know, give you the story, give you why we're in these situations or progress what we didn't already know by giving us some images and things that we need to know I feel like everything happened in like very small portions in in the other episodes like very tiny bits were shared and it wasn't like if you didn't even know if it was part of the plot or not for instance like the vampire girl who feeling like she could be very important to the plot you wouldn't know that until that episode ends and she's actually going to be you know on our side she likes the power that Yuki gave her to make her pretty much bigger into her full power so they'll probably use that again or by him just being on the battlefield and using that with everybody around she would be able to get a connection to that and become a lot stronger and capable to help if the battle calls for it um, that's one thing I really do truly like about this show is it honestly clearly has fun with everything it does um, until it got to this more sadder tone that it had to explain why this girl was so happy and so giddy all the time it's because instead of thinking of the past she lives in the present trying to make a new uh, you know stories and their and relationships that will actually last the times because whatever has happened in uh, in the castle with their father and mother there's just no there's no getting that back and it's unfortunate because we all know that she is a ridiculously awesome character she seemed like an, an amazing daughter to the parents. Like they didn't look at her with like disgust or anything like that. So I wonder if there's any pieces left of them inside of her. Like inside of themselves, sorry. Uh, kind of like you're like a ghost looking through. You're just like spectating through the eyes, but you can't control the body, right? Um... <clears throat> which would make sense why people just forget things because forgetting is a lot easier than uh, showcasing emotions and thinking back on everything like right like would you rather just always just have to react on, at the moment or do, would you like some time to think it out before you make your next move that might be something even you end up regretting right so that's the type of stuff that I feel this woman has put on to the people who have forgotten her. Uh, and maybe they're in there still and they can like revive their memories. But maybe that's just part of losing your soul and she can make a mirror image of you. So sure, 
it looks and talks and sounds and walks like the person you should know but since the soul has left the body the soul carries the memories and all of the precious little things which if they got to the king and the queen of that castle they definitely sweep high all the maids and all the you know <laughs> like if the queen and uh, king have been taken over clearly everybody's been taken over so that had to be one of the most traumatic things is running around a place of people and faces you know for a fact are them but no one uh, ever recognizing you and seeing you as more of a threat because of someone who is going and taking your name so it made more sense why she was actually named a different name right I was like I was like maybe she just she just didn't want to you know have keep saying a name that supposedly isn't uh like there's nothing wrong at the castle in other people's eyes it's just she has you know everybody's there and even her even though she's not there <laughs> so it would be weird that they would be like oh yeah i am this i am the daughter of that per of that castle it's like no i'm pretty sure she's there she's chilling just saw her feeding some birds on her balcony you know <laughs> um so with this ending though it hurts to know that we're just gonna have to wait for whatever they do but like a show like Subaru with a guy who just had amazing companions and they really made the story live or die on the situations <laughs> literally uh, and the show definitely captured a lot of those moments I mean the same people worked on the Subaru and the show you could just see it in the animation with like oh the next, like, the big giant text in the uh, episodes, like, that is 110% them, so I can't wait to see if they have something still up their sleeve, because like I said, with other stand uh, anime studios when they were making shows, the, it's a good showcase of not only after you've seen something you love from them, but you get to see something you love from them, and how much they gotten, like, closer to perfecting their craft right like if if uh toei animation only made dragon ball and dragon ball z and they never made anything else you would never know how good they've gotten at animating until you saw dragon ball super so all the shows around it they just kept practicing and practicing and one piece is looking like a freaking you know, Dragon Ball Z-esque show now because it's actually consistent. There's a lot of things that have never changed in how One Piece looks. And uh, it's interesting where animation studios can go. I hope the same for these guys. So, with all that being said, everybody, I hope you're having an amazing day, night, evening. Definitely give the show a watch. It is hilarious. It is kind of uh, giving me the vibes that if they wanted to they could drag things out but I hope they don't because they should know they could live off of not having like a big scary boss and just you know having them live their lives I'm, I'm guessing they're gonna find that out or they're already doing it but yeah with all that being said take care and peace